It's been an exhilarating month since Ship 25 and Booster 7 made history, lifting off and propelling our dreams skyward. And now, brace yourselves, SpaceX is ready the next act in this cosmic saga, Ship 28 geared up for its triumphant third flight. Get ready to witness the future of space travel. In this mind-blowing video, SpaceX initiates the eagerly awaited Starship Flight 3 testing campaign. Brace yourself for jaw-dropping footage of this monumental achievement as Starship takes to the skies with its cutting-edge technology. But the excitement doesn't end there. Discover the thrilling upcoming pairings that are set to follow Flight Test 3. As Elon Musk's vision becomes an astonishing reality, be a part of history in the making and join us as we embark on this incredible journey through space. So stay tuned. Where we bring you the most recent news. About Elon Musk and its multi-billion dollar companies, space news, and the latest science and technology. And that is what we're going to find out in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S After this, December 16th, a date destined to be etched in the stars, the day ignited with a small engine test, the first heartbeat of the impending spectacle. At the launch site, excitement brewed as the orbital tank farm vented, teasing us with whispers of activity near the wall, the sub-OTF stirring from its lumber. And then, ho, the anticipation soared higher, as Ship 28's liquid oxygen tank let out a spectacular venting. Setting the stage for the show that was about to unfold, then came the moment we'd all been waiting for, the spin prime test. Fourteen electrifying seconds filled the air as coal propellants surged from the rocket's base. It was a vibrant display, proof that SpaceX was putting several engines through their paces. In this exhilarating dance, the six Raptor version two engines and their pulsating pumps spun up to operational speeds. Imagine the buzz. SpaceX meticulously mimicked the launch conditions, ensuring these engines were revved and ready for the cosmic ride ahead. This wasn't about igniting the Raptors, it was the prelude, the dress rehearsal before the grand performance, the static fire test. Now mark your calendars. Ship 28 is slated for action on Tuesday, December 19th, beckoning from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening. With SpaceX's legacy of innovation, our hopes are sky-high that all six engines will roar in unison, signaling the dawn of yet another milestone in our cosmic journey. Exciting times ahead, indeed. During the imminent static fire test, Ship 28 will stand resolute, firmly tethered to the ground, or static, while its engines ignite briefly, the vehicle steadfast in its position. This pivotal test serves to validate the engines and their intricate systems within a controlled setting. It's the litmus test where SpaceX meticulously gathers critical data on thrust, fuel consumption, pressure, and temperature. The meticulous sequence of the chill and spin test, followed by the static fire test, is pivotal. It grants SpaceX the opportunity to meticulously evaluate the rocket's engines and make any necessary tweaks, ensuring their optimal performance before the grand venture of an actual launch. In essence, these tests stand as vital milestones in the exhaustive journey of developing and perfecting the Starship Super Heavy rocket. They act as the benchmark, guaranteeing that these engines are primed and equipped to tackle the daunting rigors of spaceflight. The highly anticipated Starship launch is earmarked for early 2024, a moment SpaceX eagerly awaits. This comes after the company's successfully completed Flight Test 2, which was both an exhilarating and milestone-achieving experience. In preparation for a flight that is scheduled to take place in the early part of 2024, this will highlight the beginning of what is anticipated to be a shortened testing campaign for both Ship 28 and Booster 10. However, as of now, SpaceX has already revealed the upcoming pairings after Flight Test 3 or IFT-3. In addition to launch site upgrades done prior to IFT-3, on December 14, 2023, Ship 28 was transported to suborbital Pad B in order to finish the engine testing that was scheduled to take place before the third test flight of the Starship stack. Ship 28 is now finished to cryoproof test at masses and it will spend the next two and a half months on the ship stand at the Sanchez site, where it will receive its engines and modifications. Before being ready for stacking, it is anticipated that this ship will undergo a condensed testing schedule which may include a cryoproof followed by a six-engine spin prime and finally a six-engine static fire. Booster 10, which is the second half of the Flight 3 stack, has been received its hot stage ring and has been positioned on the new booster transport stand the SpaceX has been constructing over the course of the past few months. After that, Booster 10 was transported to the Rocket Garden where it was prepared for transport to the launch site. Booster 10 looks to have all of its engines and shielding despite the fact that the new transport stands make it difficult to see the entire ship. 
Taking a look into the future, Flight 4 Auto consists of Ship 29 and Booster 11. As it waits to either be installed on the engine installed on the stand at Sanchez or to be the first vehicle to use the new high bay, Ship 29 is currently at the high bay where it is undergoing pre-flight work and modifications. A little over a month has passed since Booster 11 was placed on the booster work stand where it is currently waiting for its engines and other pre-fight requirements to be completed. There is a possibility that SpaceX would alter the schedule for Flight 5 which is supposed to involve Ship 30 and Booster 12. Booster 12 has been transferred to the left work stand in Mega Bay 1 where it should be getting ready for cryoproof testing. Ship 30 is currently in High Bay where it is concluding its work. Before being transferred to masses for cryoproof testing, these vehicles are currently waiting to be raised onto the respective thrust ram stands. It is possible that Ship 31 and Booster 13 represent Flight 6, both of which are now on pause for maintenance. Following its relocation to the Rocket Guard and Ship 31 had been waiting for a position in the high bay to become available again in spite of the fact that the first thrust component was discarded for reasons that are not understood. Booster 13 is still waiting for its replacement. While Ship 32 has been completely stacked and is currently doing nothing but sitting on the turntable in high bay, Ship 28 receiving all of the care that is waiting in advance of Flight 3. Booster 14 which looks like it could be the other half of Ship 32 contains parts that have been found in the ring yard. More recently, Elon Musk uploaded a photo on X that depicted the high bay as well as Ship 28, 29, 30 and 32. Likewise, he mentioned in this post that these were the final copies of the first version of Starship. It is essential to take note that Ship 31 is now located in the Rocket Guard and is a part of the version 1 ship collection. After some time had passed, he went on to say that version 2 will bring about improved dependability, more fuel capacity and a reduction in dry mass. In spite of the fact that SpaceX has previously discarded components of the S-33, there have been no confirmed sightings of the hardware from version 2 thus far. The new high bay is almost finished on the production site where it is being built. We believe that this new bay is going to be used for ship construction based on the photographs and the other fixtures that are being constructed. The amount of rockets and boosters that SpaceX produces will increase dramatically once this bay is finished being constructed and Star Factory is operational. With three work stands on the back at one turntable in each of the front corners, the configuration ought to be the same as that of Mega Bay 1, also known as the Booster Bay. And while we are waiting for more updates, let's check the latest SpaceX news so far. Expressing her optimism, Kathy Leaders, former Associate Administrator of NASA's Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate, currently the General Manager of the Starship Program. At Starbase, shared, we'd love to see multiple flights next year. The ideal aim would be in the first quarter. Elon might aim for the end of December, but realistically that might be ambitious for us. Leaders revealed that the company is actively updating data and submitting applications for the forthcoming third and fourth orbital test flights from Starbase. Reflecting on past experiences, she highlighted the invaluable lessons learned from the April 20th flight, where a self-destruct sequence occurred after a failed stage separation. This data significantly contributed to enhancing the Starship Super Heavy for subsequent flights. This mammoth of a rocket, boasting a second stage, six-engine Starship mounted atop a first stage. 33-engine Super Heavy, towers at nearly 400 feet and generates a colossal 16 million pounds of thrust. Continuing the tradition of iterative improvement, she emphasized SpaceX's commitment to evolving and learning from their spacecraft. Recalling the November 18th flight, despite another self-destruct sequence, the successful hot-stage separation was caused for jubilation. Leaders mentioned that investigations into the activation of the automated flight termination systems during this flight were still ongoing. With stage separation achieving success on the 18th of November, she outlined plans for subsequent test flights focused on validating different facets of the system. SpaceX's collaboration with NASA for the Artemis program underlines the critical role of Starship as a human landing system to return astronauts to the moon in the coming years. Detailing their strategic vision, she emphasized the upcoming year's importance, stressing the need for rigorous testing to elevate Starship's capabilities including booster reuse and refining landing operations. Elicitating the vast potential of Starship, she underscored its 100-ton payload capacity, surpassing competitors, and its ability to transport substantial cargo for constructing permanent structures on the moon. Starship's revolutionary potential for sustained lunar operations, 
especially at the moon's south pole, cativates her, signifying its transformational impact and the ongoing exploration into its myriad applications. In the realm of space exploration, concerning news has emerged about Voyager 1. The legendary probe is currently ensnared in a transmission loop. NASA's revered Voyager 1 probe, now 46 years old, finds itself unable to relay any scientific or systems data back to Earth. While still responsive to commands, a glitch has surfaced within the probe's computer systems. A recent NASA blog post, dated December 12, revealed that Voyager 1's flight data system, or FDS, responsible for gathering engineering data and scientific instrument information, has encountered a communication breakdown with the spacecraft's telecommunications unit, or TMU. Typically, the FDS compiles data for transmission, but lately it's been trapped, endlessly transmitting a repetitive string of ones and zeros. Engineers trace the issue to the FDS, but resolving it may take weeks. Presently, Voyager 1 can only dispatch binary gibberish to Earth. The fix isn't a simple reboot. Previous attempts yielded no success. The age of the spacecraft and its hardware posed for minimal challenges. NASA's experts are constrained by the technological constraints of the 1970s, often resorting to ingenious software maneuvers. This hiccup isn't the first for Voyager 1. In May of 2022, glitches in the probe's Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, led to months of garbled telemetry data transmission before a workaround was devised. An update in October of 2023 introduced a software patch to address the issue and prevent residue buildup on the thrusters. However, these solutions take time. NASA's blog underscores the painstaking process as engineers delve into decades-old documentation, wrestling with unforeseen challenges. Amidst these trials, let's extend our best wishes for Voyager 1's speedy recovery. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member, so click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the Talk Talk app here down below.